only 10 days have left for the upcoming INICT and in this video, I'll tell you what should be your last 10 day revision plan, how you should revise your last 10 days for the upcoming INICT. Now, my name is Dr. Rishabh Jain. I'm in a radiology faculty at Allen Next and I have done my MBBS from Ames Delhi and my PG in radiology from PGI Chandigarh. Now, today is 25th October. Your exam is on 5th November. So, you have 10 to 11 days to plan your revision. Now, last one day, that is 4th November, I have kept for the last one day revision of most important volatile topics. And then the remaining 10 days from 25th October to 3rd November, those are 10 days, it's a 31st day month. So these last 10 days, how you should plan your revision, which subjects to cover which day, how you should integrate majors and minors, we'll discuss in this video. Now, at the outset, let me tell you, medicine, please don't spend time on medicine in these last 10 days, especially for your INICT, because a lot of questions from medicine can be covered from your first and second year knowledge and the clinical questions that are asked in medicine, okay, some lines and tubes, vials, procedures, okay, those can be done from your internship knowledge per se. And so spending time on core clinical medicine would take up a lot of time with a very less yield. So skip medicine if you can. And the remaining 18 subjects, I've divided it into first four days, that is from 25th October till 28th October. That is in for these four days, we'll try to do nine subjects, eight to nine subjects, we'll see how. And then in the next six days, from 29th October till 3rd November, we'll do again nine subjects, majorly from first and second year. Now, how have I divided these subjects? Let's see in this slide. So the last day topics, that is topics to be done on the fourth day, I'm starting with those because these all are very volatile topics that everybody forgets and it's normal to forget these topics, okay? So, aapko ek din pehle, on the 4th November, we just the day before the exam, you have to revise what are these topics. So, number one is biostats formulae, pharmacology ke formulae, okay? General pharma se, one or two questions, one question at least will come from general pharma based upon a formulae question. Then next is IPC sections in forensic, okay? Everybody forgets it. If you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. So, it's good to revise them just a day before the exam. Now, then comes cancer staging and their management. So, three important cancers, breast cancer, cervical cancer and ovarian cancer. In these breast cancer and cervical cancer, you will 100% get one or two questions from each. So, breast cancer, cervical cancer need to be definitely, definitely revised on the last day before the exam. Just the staging and stage appropriate management, that's it. Now, CA larynx have put a star because it has been asked previously. So, it becomes a previous topic and uh, becomes one of the cancers to be revised. But, you know, again, it's a very rare cancer again to be asked. So, if you want to skip it, you can. Now comes classification systems and scoring systems in major subjects. So, medicine has a lot of classification systems and scores. Surgery, especially general surgery and GI surgery has classification systems and scores. And third is pediatrics. So, neonatology may you have Alvarado score, you have uh, score, Silverman scores and Down scores uh, in neurology. So, similarly, such, such scores are there in pediatrics. And finally, ACLS and BLS, you know, you'll definitely get two or three questions. Uh, you can call them questions of anesthesia, you can call them questions of medicine, but actually they are given your ACLS and BLS protocols. Very quick to revise them and definitely do revise them one day before the exam. So, this was an exhaustive topic list for topics to be covered a day before the exam. Now, the remaining 10 days, these remaining 10 days from 25th October till 3rd November, how have I divided it? So, the first four days, do majors major, uh, mainly, okay? And the next six days, I've kept it for first and second prof plus minus because 60% of the weightage in INICT is from first and second prof. Everybody knows this. So, we want to keep these subjects as fresh as possible in our mind. Correct? So, in the first four days, what will we do? We'll start with surgery and we'll integrate a major with a minor subject. So, we'll start with surgery and orthopedics. In surgery, we know we don't have to complete the entire surgery. What is our focus? Our focus is on breast, trauma, thyroid, hepatobiliary surgery and general surgery. Correct? And in ortho, we can easily integrate ortho revision notes or your recall videos with the surgery and surgery in ortho are done. Similarly, in PSM, 
Don't try to do everything in these last 10 days. These last 10 days are your high yield revision. So only do super, super important topics in PSM like biostats, epidemio and screening sensitivity and uh, specificity tests because questions in PSM will come from these only. And along with these, try to complete forensic now because biostats, epidemio screening, if you're revising formulas, doing some questions, does not take a lot of time. So integrate it with the forensic medicine, very, very important subject for your INICT around eight questions, eight to nine questions will come from forensic medicine. You cannot afford to miss it. One day effort, eight, nine questions, correct. Now, now comes speeds and peats I consider a minor because, you know, in peats majority of the questions which are needed to be studied isolated from peats are from general peats and neurology. Correct. Systemic peats only has specific, specific topics that you need to do. So, pediatrics, general peats, neonatology integrated with derma images. So, we have already done a series on rapid recall of top 50 derma images that almost covers a lot of questions that are probably asked in INICT from derma. So, you can watch that and, and do PEDS and DERMA together. Now, I have written plus minus ENT because ENT, you know, for INICT is not so high yielding. Three questions, four questions only come from ENT. And if you have already done ENT, then it's a good idea to revise. But if you haven't touched ENT yet, it's okay to skip ENT. Okay, I am giving you one subject now which you can skip. That is ENT. Now comes gynecology. Very, very, very important subject, especially for INICT lot of questions will come 10 to 15 questions will only come from gynecology so you cannot afford to miss gynecology especially cervical cancer staging pap smear screening you know partogram labor anti intrapartum fetal monitoring contraception very very high yield gynecology is you, you should definitely read it very well and integrated with radio so i have kept radio here because you know radio may images 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 i've done a uh, recall video on YouTube, top 50 radiology images. You can watch it and just do that for radiology. Now comes the next six days. In this, I've kept first and second year subjects along with minors. Now, these six days are have to be a high yield. These have to be a high intensity, high yield studying sessions because around 100 questions will come from these subjects. Okay. So, pharma plus psyche. Pathology, you can integrate it with OFTA. Now, OFTA is one subject that you should have read before if you are revising now. If you haven't read OFTA ever, skip it altogether. Take it, don't waste time in OFTA if you haven't read it till now. If you have, do revise OFTA right now. Now comes microbiology. I haven't integrated any minor with microbiology because very, very important subject. Micro is, you'll get around 15 questions from micro. Then comes physiology plus anesthesia. So I've integrated physiology and anesthesia because physio around eight to 10 questions come from physio and anesthesia four to five questions come. So you can integrate them. Then comes biochem and anatomy, super, super high yield, cannot afford to not revise them before the exam. And I've kept biochem and anatomy towards the end of the revision that is near the exam because they are very volatile, you know, glycogen storage diseases, lysosomal storage diseases, familial dyslipidemias. You have to see them before the exam. Nobody is able to you know, remember the enzyme deficiency and the uh, name of the disease if they haven't revised. So this was my exhaustive list of how you should plan your last 10 day revision. Do plan your last 10 day revision. And what do I mean by this last 10 days revision that you only do theory now. Okay, MCQ ka time, PYQ ka time, ho gaya hai khatam. Ab aapka kaam kya hai, jo aapne revision notes banaye te, har ek subject ke. Unko aapko bet ke hai. That is the notes, the revision notes that you have to study. And only read study, only read theory. And even if you're just eyeballing, you know, it's tough to complete a whole subject in a day. And I'm asking you to integrate it with a minor. So how will you be able to uh, revise if you're not fast? So right now, even eyeballing would work. Our main purpose is to keep everything fresh in our memory just before the exam. And hence, we name it the last 10 day revision. Okay, eyeballing works in the last 10 days. In my opinion, don't give GTs. Now, I might get a lot of backlash uh, regarding this because many teachers uh, advise you to give GTs in these last 10 days. But I am of the opinion that you revise theory of all the 19 subjects. Okay, giving GTs at this point serves no purpose. If you have a rank, it does not mean that will be replicated in the main exam. If you're getting a bad rank in GTs, it will only demotivate you. So right now, what you can do is just read theory and have confidence that okay. My syllabus is complete. I am confident. I am ready. I am 
I am charged to give the exam. Correct? If you have already revised two times, so there are some students who have who are on the very good revision path have already revised two times their whole syllabus. You can definitely give a GT because आपको सब याद ही है. But for people who have you know just completed their first reading, have are or maybe doing their first revision now, I won't really advise you to give GTs now, but because it will only demotivate you. Now. Whether you should do MCQs at this point, the last ten days. So, in my opinion, no. If you haven't done PYQs till now, just do PYQs last three years, NEET, PG, and INICT. But if you have done PYQs, kar rakhe hain, you have done PYQs, you know what are the important topics. There is no point of doing previous topics again. Just revise those topics again and again, and you know, just give the exam on fifth November. So that was my advice regarding the last ten day revision strategy. Thank you and all the best.